there are a lot of different applications that use square roots in the solution. Uh, but I had a student who sent in a question about a flower garden that he was working on in his homework and needed a little help with. So we're going to use his question as background to get a little practice with this. Uh, so Connor, it said that uh, Sir Rangaman's flower garden, <laughs> it's quite the name, flower garden is now a square. And, oh, Sri, not Sir, Sri. If she enlarges it by increasing the, me the width by one meter and increasing the length by three meters, the area will be 19 meters more than it is right now. And then you need to find out what the length of the side is now. So let's take a look at what we know. First of all, if we know that it's a square right now, then we know that, of course, that means all four sides are the same. So if we set s to be the length of a side of the original square, then the new one is going to be a little bit taller, since so she increased one dimension by one, and then it's going to be quite a bit longer because she increased the other dimension by three. So the new one will look obviously more of a rectangle, something like this, and then the vertical dimension, the up-down dimension, which was s, would now be s plus one, and the left-right dimension, which was also s before, would now be s plus three. So this would be our new shape. Our original shape, we had some area, we don't know what it was, but that area to calculate it would have been s squared, right? So in order to calculate the area of the new one, we'd have to take s, s plus one times s plus three, so the area for this one would be s plus 1 times s plus 3. And we know that's going to be equal to the old area plus 19 square meters. So it's equal to s squared plus 19. So let's take this information, s plus 1 times s plus 3 equals s squared plus 19, and use that as our, our formula for figuring out what your side is. So let me clear this out so we have a little more room to work. So we have s plus 1 times s plus 3 equals s squared plus 19. So let's go ahead and foil this out. s times s is s squared. s times 3 is 3s. 1 times s is 1s. And 1 times 3 is 3. And it's still going to be equal to s squared plus 19. So now we'll combine like terms. We can subtract s squared from both sides. And that's going to go away. And it's going to go away over here. And then we have 3s plus 1s. That's 4s. And we'll just leave the other two. I'll do the next step here. Plus 3 equals 19. So now we'll subtract 3 from each side. This will go away. And we'll get 4s equals 16. And if 4s equals 16, then when we divide both sides by 4, we get s equals 4. So that tells us that your original sides would have been 4, which means that your area of your original square would have been four, or 16, 4 squared. Now if this is going to work, the new one should be 16 plus 19. So let's see what happens. If we have 4 plus 1, that's 5. So the new area would be 5 times 4 plus 3, so 7, which is 35, and 16 plus 19 equals 35, so that works. So there's your new side, your original side would have been 4 units.